What's up, Kit Vista Army? TBC here, back with another video, and on September 9th, I started collecting LEGO Star Wars clone minifigures for my clone army. Now, clone minifigures are quite expensive, as you may know, because a lot of people want to create clone armies, because it's just cool, you know, a lot of people love the Clone Wars, as do I, and with Season 7 having come out, and, have, and the Clone Wars having been wrapped up, I wanted to create uh, my own clone army because I didn't really have many clones to begin with and I haven't had many clones. Um, even when I was younger and I was getting Star Wars stuff, I didn't get much Clone Wars stuff and I'm not sure why. And I finished up focusing on my Imperial Army. I had quite a number of Imperial figures now. So I wanted to shift my focus to a clone army and it was a little bit daunting at the beginning because again, it's very expensive. The figures are very expensive. But over the past month, I've deal hunted and deal hunted, and I've created a pretty good clone army, I think. So um, I'm going to show you guys how much I have, how much I've been able to collect, and I'll show you guys how I was able to do that for, honestly, not as much money as I thought I would have. So let's jump into it. Now, here is my clone army. As you can see, it isn't the greatest thing in the world, but uh, for a month, I think I've done pretty well with collecting some of the minifigures. Uh, I'll tell you guys what I already had while we're here, and then I'll go up close. I think I had one bomb squad trooper. Um, I had one clone gunner. I had, I think, about two um, normal cl uh, Clone Wars clones. Uh, I had an episode three clone pilot, uh, and I had Commander Gree. And I had two Kashyyyk clone troopers, and I had one 2013 501st trooper. But that's it. The rest of it, I completely got within this past month. So let's take a quick look at it, and I'll show you everything. All right, so here we are up close. Sorry if my camera holding abilities aren't great. But up front, we've got three of my favorite Star Wars Clone Wars characters. We've got Kit Fisto on the side, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I mean, come on. Can't go wrong with Nobi and Kenobi, and then Ahsoka Tano from the recent AAT. So we'll move over to the right. This is kind of like my miscellaneous thing. Uh, I've got two commando troops right here. I've got two clone pilots in the back. Clone pilots are actually pretty expensive. And this phase three clone pilot, or phase two, sorry, clone pilot. Then I have this Special Ops 501st, which I did get in a book a while ago. I forgot to mention that just a second ago. And then I've got this Abomination right here, which is just basically the leftovers from when I created my custom ARC Trooper 5s right there. And so I just mashed them all together so I have everything in one spot. But as you can see, there's an ARC Trooper helmet, there's the Jet Trooper torso, and then the ARC Trooper pants. And then some Cape Cantina products on there. But yeah, that's pretty much just like the miscellaneous area. Moving over to the left of these Jedi, we've got um, this green area. We've got three clone lieutenants, phase one from episode two. These are, st these are styled based off of episode two, not the Clone Wars. And then the back four right there. I don't, I forget what like designation they have but they were also green so i just put them with it these these came in the 2011 clone battle pack i believe along with um these guys over here and then the arf troopers back there um and then yeah that those guys are right there alongside i swear i have one more of these i just wasn't able to find it um so i think i actually have five of these green ones Moving on to my 501st slash 332nd collection, here we have the custom ARC Trooper 5s. He looks great and he's leading the whole uh, squad, I guess. So over here we got the 2012 501st Trooper with some Cape Cantina products on there. If you like any of the pauldrons and commas you see on this, these are all Cape Cantina products, which are custom cape makers. I am partnered with them. If you guys would like to buy anything you see, in this video, go click the link down in the description and use the promo code TBC promo for 10% off your order. Help support me, help support you because you're saving money and it's also helping support a great business, which is the Cape Cantina. Next to him, we've got a uh, 332nd Arc Troopers. Love this clone set. Um, one of my favorite purchases and favorite sets from the Cape Cantina. Then we've got behind them three 332nd Troopers, just with some pauldrons and stuff. And then behind them three um, 501st Troopers again, which is some pauldrons and stuff on them as well. I have three more 501st Battle Packs that are supposed to be coming in rather soon. Um, so my 501st slash 332nd Army won't look so wimpy. Moving to the right of them, we've got my uh, ARF Trooper stuff right here. So we've got some from the uh, Elite Clone Troopers Battle Pack. I think that's what it was called. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five of these guys, as you can see. And then we've got three regular ARF Troopers, again, that came in that Bomb Squad Trooper slash um, these, whatever these troopers are, uh, Battle Pack from 2011, I believe. 
Then over here, this is kind of like miscellaneous slash prequel trilogy era stuff. So up front leading this kind of army is uh, Commander Gree phase two. And then we've got some 41st Kashyyyk recon troopers. And then we've got some uh, airborne Geonosian troopers. I know those are technically legends um, or like the Battle of Geonosis 2. We don't really see that in the uh prequels but we also don't see it in the clone wars so i figured i'll just throw them with these guys and then back there we've just got three normal uh phase one episode two clones those didn't really fit in anywhere else next to them we've got around i believe 10 or nine uh bomb squad troopers and then in front we've got eight clone gunners and then over here is where the bulk of my collection is uh we've got commander fox which is a recent purchase i'm super happy about getting him i got him for a great deal and then we've got four uh commando or commander clone troopers that came in the clone walker battle pack in 2008 i think or 2009 not quite sure maybe it's 2007 i completely forget but we've got four of those and then we've got a bunch of clones some of them have viewfinders and a couple of them have some uh cloths on them as well just to add some flair but we've got around 13 of those and then of course in the back we've got the republic gunship from episode two i recently bought this um, for a really great deal i parted it out on bricklink actually and there'll be a video linked at the top of the screen um, to show you guys how i was able to do that but yeah that's pretty much my clone army for the past month i'm going to keep collecting clones probably not as much as before because my funds have run rather dry for those of you who don't know, I work over the summer, but not during the school year, so I don't really have any kind of income right now, so I have to slow down with the purchasing, but I think I did a great job. This will definitely be good for some mocks and stuff like that. Again, we still got, I think, around 12 501st troopers that are coming in um, that will be added to the army, but this is really, really exciting. I'm super happy that I got a pretty decently sized clone army. I didn't think I would get this uh, clone army for the price I got it at. I think I spent maybe altogether $200 on this this whole thing um which may seem like a lot but if you really do it out we probably have um, upwards of 40 minifigures right here so we're looking at about five dollars for fig which is pretty good um altogether especially for clones um because a lot of them go for like seven eight dollars um per fig but Overall, super great. I've been really lucky been finding deals on BrickLink, especially uh, just if you check every day. My best advice is that if you check every day, you'll end up finding a bunch of deals and all that kind of stuff. That's how I was able to get all these guys. Um, but uh, now that I'm not hogging all the deals and I have to kind of slow down, you guys will probably or hopefully find some on BrickLink. So yeah, if you check every day, you should be able to find some pretty decent prices on clones and all that kind of stuff. But if you like my clone army so far, please drop a like down below. I'm excited to do a two month slash three month uh long video about about how many troopers i have over three months of collecting i might just skip that and go straight to like half a year or something like that so i'll make a video about that oh my god in march or something like that or possibly um in the beginning of 2021 if you want to see a second installment of this video um later on whether that be three months four months or longer please drop a like down below so i know you guys enjoyed the video also comment down below what your clone trooper army is looking like how many do you have? Do you have any if at all? Um, how many figs do you have? How much have you spent on it? How long have you been collecting? I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you could consider subscribing and turning on the notifications so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video or live stream, that would be great. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you all later.